Hey coach, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. This video is specific for you if you are either a basketball trainer or if you do any sort of training inside. And I want to address this problem because many basketball coaches come to me with a very specific problem. They'll say, hey Ben, you know, I just can't find the right place to rent from. I don't know how much I should be paying and I can't run a sustainable business if I don't have a spot that I can train all the time. So today we're talking about rent. And the first thing that we have to do is, I know most, time, most of the time when coaches ask me that, they've probably only looked at like one or two places in their area and they haven't done enough research yet. And what I wanna do is I want to show you three steps to finding a place that you can rent from or you can get it for free. It really depends on how you wanna do this. And I'm gonna break this into three steps, very simple, okay? The first thing that we need to do here is we need to look at your business. We need to say, all right, are you doing private training or group training? And we need to calculate how much, so I'm just gonna put monthly, don't even think I spelled that right, but we're gonna put monthly here, I forgot the L, so if, if we're doing everything monthly, then you can calculate how much money you're making per month. If you're doing everything by the session, I promise you, you're gonna get so freaking screwed here when you try to pay for rent. So we need to understand how much are you making monthly? Okay, then we do the research. Okay, and the way you do the research is very simple. You're gonna pull out a Google document. All right, so just go to Google, set up a Google spreadsheet and you're going to do a lot of deep research within your city and you're gonna look indoor facilities, indoor gyms, recreational centers, churches, and we're gonna pull out every single piece of data online about your city and we're going to record that on your Google spreadsheet. And so your Google spreadsheet is gonna have everything you need. It's gonna have the location, where, where it's at, the phone number, the email address of whoever runs it, and so this way, what we can do is we can start calling them. We can start calling them, setting meetings, so we can understand what is their process? How much does it cost? Uh, can they accept money up front for six months? Can they accept money up front for a month? Like, this is where we can start to negotiate with them and learn about how much does it cost per hour or per month, all right? So with that, this is the hardest piece, all right? So I'm gonna number these. One, how much money are you making? Only you can figure out that out. If you're not making money per month, if you're making money per session, you need to switch that and start making money per month so it's predictable. All right, from here, we do the research. All right, we use Google Spreadsheet. All right, and with that, that has all of the details you need to start calling, to start getting in touch with these business owners that have access to the spot that you wanna train at. And then from there, three, what we have to do all right, I just wrote down the word manage. We have to manage the money. And that just means we have to see, all right, if I'm gonna be spending, let's say I'm spending $500 a month on this facility, what do I need to be earning in order to make sure I, I can clear an easy profit? And if you're doing a lot of private one-on-one -on -one training, I would highly recommend you rethink your strategy. Unless you're charging like, 800 or $1,000 a month for private training. Because if you're doing anything in a rental, what you need to be doing is scaling your time. And the way you do that is have group training set up, you have clinics set up, you have camp set up. This way you can work less and profit more. And then because you're gonna be paying the facility the same amount no matter what per hour, right? So if you're paying, say you're paying 50 bucks an hour for, to, to rent out a gym. Well, if you're doing private training and you're only charging $60 a session or 240 a month, well, you're gonna make $10 a session. That's not gonna cut it for you. Right? It's gonna be a lot easier for you to have a small group there that you're charging like 150 or $200 a month on and use that to easily clear the, the rent there, all right? So I hope that makes sense there. But what we've gotta do is we have to be very good at looking at the numbers. That's something I really sucked at. A long time ago, when I would pay indoor facilities to run camps and clinics, I wouldn't even think about that. I would just be like, oh, well, I, I need to get a lot of kids to register. I wasn't looking at the fine details of the numbers. And that's something you have to get really good at. So this way, when you start talking to 
the business owners of the facilities you want to rent at, you can negotiate with them and you can take different options at that point and negotiate against those so you can see what's going to be the best for you. What's going to be the one that's the best location? Which is the one that's the cheapest? Which is the one where you're going to have the most profit? And that's how you do this. But I'm going to tell you, this is where a lot of coaches get stuck. When they do the research, they are not resourceful. They're just looking at all the schools in their area and that's it. And they're not willing to call everybody. You have, if you want to do this full time, you have to be freaking aggressive in this process. You need to be able to have like at least 50 different places that are on that list and you need to cycle through every single one of those. Call them, meet them in person, figure it out, and don't just think that there's only one or two places you can do it at because I can guarantee you if you're thinking that way, you're not going to be able to get a, a, an indoor spot. So that's it for the video. If you have any questions for me, shoot me a text at this number right here. Um, I'd love to see how I can help you out. See you later.